Riley. Riley. Oh. <laughs> All right, we've made it back from Target, Chick-fil-A, and we actually ran into Ulta. It took a little bit too long, but um, we've got all their school supply stuff back, and the thing that I have literally been dreading is the one room we created when we remodeled the kitchen, which is this mud room, and this is what it looks like right now. It's scary looking. There's just so much junk in here. Backpack still from last year. It's def It's like, and I'm so ready to clean out all the shoes and everything, um, but I've been dreading it. But now that we have all their new school supplies, you gotta get them in their backpacks. So, tackling this. Okay, so usually this is a task that I usually put the quints on. I usually get two quints in the mud room as a chore day, and they organize the shoes and put whose shoes is whose in which cubby. So everybody has their own cubby. You can see like this one's Parker, and everybody has. So there's six cubbies, and there's actually, there's one space in the corner that's just filled with just Adam's jacket and maybe a sweater line. But it's new school year, everything's gotta get cleared out. Um, there's a lot of shoes that maybe Gus got a hold of and they're just either, I mean, this one still works, but uh, I guarantee you the girl's not gonna wanna wear it because Gus chewed on it. So I gotta go through all these shoes. I've emptied out all these baskets. And so basically everybody has pairs of shoes got all their rain boots in the corner and they get their two tennis shoes and a pair of sandals and then we'll keep like whatever sports stuff that they're going to do in their cubby too so um, however the only problem is is that um hey y'all know adam he loves shoes he loves tennis shoes guess who has a bunch of tennis shoes um literally Parker is like our little shoe stand, loves shoes, she loves to shop, she loves makeup. So she literally has like probably eight pairs of tennis shoes because Adam will see a pair and he'll like buy them or like a friend or whatever will be like, hey, these for the girls and give them whatever. But um, so Parker has like way tons of tennis shoes and she has the biggest foot. So she gets to wear all the big shoes first. Um, and there's Ava who kind of shares too. So um, I literally, probably have all of these that I could probably get rid of so I'm gonna go through them and see what we're gonna keep down here because we don't have enough room for all this well I've made some progress I found a bunch of shoes that are just like singleton so gotta go look for the other one um, and I now have a trash bag full of shoes to donate so uh, who would have thought that many pair of shoes in here were all shoes to give away <laughs> it still looks like a ton of shoes <laughs> um but that's what happens when you have six kids and they each have about like three pairs of shoes you know it's a lot of shoes but sitter just got here adam and i um are off to our learning group tonight our church doesn't do our like small groups um during the summer so we so we signed up for a learning group, which we signed up for. They have like parenting, marriage, and like all kinds of different classes. So we actually signed up for the marriage class because, hey, I don't care how good your marriage is, you can always continue to work on it. So we decided that um, I am drinking coffee at five o'clock, which means I'm gonna be up till probably two o'clock in the morning because one, I'm tired and have so much to do and so much to catch up on and the days are just going by so, 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 so fast. But uh, I need to go freshen up because I look like I'm tired and sweaty. <laughs> and um, anyway, so hope y'all are having a great Monday.